Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Tyler. This is going to be another video request coming from a person named Matthew. And I want to simply tell you, thank you for taking the time to ask me to do a video request pertaining to the benefits of being single. And I'm not just only doing it for this person's sake, but for every single person out there that is watching this video. And I just want to go on ahead and get started with the first benefit of being single, and that is that you have a lot of time on your hands or on your shoulders. And what and you're probably asking me, Tyler, what do I mean by this? This means that you do not have no boyfriend no more, you do not have no girlfriend no more, or you probably recently divorced your previous husband or your previous wife that you already had, or you do not have no best friend no more. You probably was best friends with this person, but you and that person had a fallout with each other, and then both of you are not best friends anymore. So what I'm simply telling you is, due to whatever happened in your past, and that now you have that free time to free yourself up to travel or you have enough time to free yourself up to go and enjoy enjoyable family members that you like being around or you can go to a place or a restaurant that you enjoy going to or you might want to go to a particular event that you want to go to like to a football game or like to a basketball game or something or a concert, but I want to sit here and I want to tell all of you people something that if you decide that you want to go into those type of events, like I do on my other channel, which has safety tips, always be careful and always look for signs that something is not right. Always look for that while you are having a look time because Whenever you look for those signs, whenever you are having a good time and you notice it very quickly, it can be you that recognition that you already noticed can save your life. So I just want to go on ahead into the next benefit of being single. And this is a lot of you people need to have a mindset of learning how to be by yourself and learning how to invest in yourself. Because what a lot of you people need to understand is that when you are by yourself, it is the greatest time to pick up a new book and learn something. I'm not talking about like some, some type of boring book that you won't learn something from, but I'm talking about a book that is going to teach you something and that you can use for your own advantage. Or you can go look at a YouTube video and that you can learn something new and that you can apply it to your daily life. Or you can learn something from someone else and that it will help you and it'll be beneficial to you down the road. But I'm sitting here telling you that learn how to invest in yourself, picking up a new book or crafting in a new skill or learn a new skill. Always learn something new. There's always something out here to be learned. And that's the main benefits of being single is simply because you're not around someone that you probably wasn't previous married to or a previous boyfriend or a previous girlfriend or a previous friendship that wasn't even no good for you in the first place. And that frees you up to invest in yourself a whole lot. That's what I'm sitting here telling all of you people. But like I sit here and I said that, a lot of you people out there, you have got to learn how to be by yourself and start investing in yourself. Because what the main problem is, a lot of you people sit there and say, I don't, I don't want to be by myself. I don't want to be by myself. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to tell you all of you people, that, that is the greatest time when you are by yourself and being single is the greatest time to learn new things and to explore and to learn new things. 
And I want to sit here and I want to go into the next one. The benefit of being single. And this is that it is the greatest time that you can work on yourself. Making changes within yourself. And you got to understand something. Change begins up here in the mind. And when it changes into the mind, then you will start applying the actions to it. In other words, what do I mean by this? In other words, you want to change a lot of things about yourself to get yourself ready for that new friendship or that new boyfriend or that new girlfriend or that new friend that you want to come around. But you got to focus on changing yourself. And you got to understand that working on yourself, changing yourself to get ready for it. No matter how long that the creator of the universe sends that person your way. It is the greatest time to work on you and change yourself to get ready for that next relationship or that next friendship. And you got to think about it like that. Because I'm going to sit here and I'm going to tell all of you people something that. You have to understand that it is at a certain time period that the creator of the universe will bring that friend or that best friend or that girlfriend or that boyfriend back to you, back around your way. And let me just go on into the next sign of the benefit of being single. And that is, it is the greatest time that you can work on your mission, you can work on your goal, you can work on whatever type of destiny that you are on. It is the greatest time to start focusing on that. But while you are focusing on that, always stay low key about it and keep focus about it. And if you're trying to perfect whatever that you are doing, whenever that you are accomplishing that goal. Always stay focused and that is the greatest time that you can get to your goal and work on it because you will have a more, t way much more time on your hand. Most of you probably will work, but that's the, but while you are single, you can work on those goals that you've been wanting to work on, on that dream that you've been wanting to work on. And I will sit here and I will tell all of you people that you probably see the negative side of being single and everything. Well, I'm just tired of being by myself. I just don't want to be by myself. And I will sit here and I will tell you something. It is better to be by yourself than to be around Six or seven people that don't even mean your, you no good when it comes to friendships. Or to be around a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a husband or a wife that don't even mean no good to you. And you are not even happy in that relationship or you're not even happy in that type of friendship. And the, and the relationship or the friendship ain't even advancing at all. Not even advancing at all. And I want to tell all of you people something that sometimes, and I, I know this probably don't even have nothing to do with the video, but I'm going to say this. Sometimes when it comes to old friends or an old friendship that you claim that's so-called your best friend or a girlfriend or a boyfriend that is a hindrance to you or when it comes to a man that you're probably with or or a woman that you're probably with that is a hindrance to you that is sucking the living shit out of your ass. You sometimes has got to learn how to let go and sit your ass down so that you can be by yourself. So that you can work on you and that you can invest in yourself and have free time to yourself. But you know why a lot of people is it? Because you don't want to be by your fucking self. That's what you afraid of. But I'm just going to go on ahead and cut this video short. And for those who liked and enjoyed this video, I give you the invitation to please subscribe to this channel because you'll receive weekly content on a weekly basis. Thank you and have a great and awesome day or evening, people.